Hey guys, I'm Matt Hernandez. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to take a picture like this, capturing motion with a shutter drag using front curtain sync. Okay, so the key to using a shutter drag is that you have to open the shutter for longer than normal, which would normally give you a blurry image, right? So, but we want that actually. So we've got two lights set up. We've got a constant LED light that's gonna be on the whole time and a strobe that's gonna fire at the beginning of the picture. So be sure you check out my other video on how to get a shutter drag with rear curtain sync. So this is the opposite. Today we're gonna to do front curtain. So in the other video, I have her moving and then the strobe fires at the end. This one's gonna be the opposite. It's gonna be a little bit different. It's not quite the same look, but it's similar. So I like to get these a little bit tighter. I'm gonna be shooting with the Sony a7R5 and the 70 to 200. This is the second version of it, 2.8. And I've got a Westcott FJ400 strobe with an Octa L. So it's 48 inch, 48 inch Octa box with two layers of diffusion. So I'm gonna have her stand in a spot right here where I would take a portrait normally with an Octa, maybe a foot or two from it. I'm gonna have her get in some kind of creative pose, right? I'm gonna set my shutter to a little bit longer than normal, like a half a second, a second, maybe two seconds. And then I'm gonna take the picture. I've got my, my flash set to front curtain sync. So it's gonna fire at the beginning and freeze her. And then I'm gonna move the camera to get the motion. And so after, after the flash fires, then when I move my camera, that LED that's in the back that's lighting her constantly the whole time, that is going to pick up a light trail. And we've got a green gel on it. That's a Solix with a one by four strip box. And that's an old strip box with spokes that actually go into the Solix. You actually have to put it together. It's not a rapid box, which is the newer version of the of their soft, of Westcott soft boxes. But we've got a green gel in there, like I said, so it's gonna be on her the whole time. And it's gonna capture a green light trail wherever I move the camera. So if I move the can't, if I take the picture, the flash is gonna fire and I move the camera like this, and there's gonna be a shutter drag. It's gonna be a light trail on the bottom left. It's gonna be the opposite of way that I move the camera. So if I move to the right, and the light trail is going to be to the left. Okay, so it's going to freeze her at the beginning and then capture the motion at the end. So she's she's going to move, but it may not capture as much motion as like a rear curtain sink would. It's more going to be that green light trail that's going to be in these. Okay, so as far as my settings go, I've shot shutter drags anywhere from half a second to two seconds. So I'm going to be at two seconds on this one and F5.6 at ISO 200. So, and then you also need to make sure you go into your camera settings and set the flash to front curtain sync, not rear curtain. So I'm gonna scoot back up. Like I said, I've got the 70 to 200. I'm gonna probably need to be out all the way to 70. So I'm gonna scoot back just far enough to where I can get a nice frame with her and then start directing her and we'll, just, we'll start shooting. Okay, go ahead and hold your hands up. Okay. Let's go horizontal. Okay. All right, I've done these both horizontal and vertical before. I think we're gonna go with horizontal today. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna, ta I'm gonna take the picture, and then as soon as you see that flash, Kala, then you start moving, okay? One, two, three. Try one um, moving around a little bit more, like continue to move more. All right, one, two, three. Keep going, there you go, good. Sweet. Okay, so this one's gonna be different than a rear curtain because the movement is coming after the flash fires, obviously. So she is gonna be frozen, but the movement's gonna be a little bit over her. And if, if she moves around, if I move the camera up or to the side, like I was doing, the light streak will be on the opposite side. So let's do a couple like that real quick. I'm gonna lower my shutter speed to one second and see if that makes a difference. All right, ready? All right, here we go, and go. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, one more time. One, two, three. Nice, those look, those look awesome. All right, good job. All right, that does it, thanks for watching. If you got anything out of it, I hope you did. I would appreciate it if you could like, comment, share. You can ask questions in the comments. Uh, be sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. There's going to be a lot more to come, and we'll see you next time.